Hello, I'm Dr. David Rowitcher, one of the cardiologists at Baylor Scott & White Legacy Heart Center. I wanted to talk to you for a few minutes about your upcoming stress echocardiogram. A stress echocardiogram is a stress test that we perform here in our office. In preparation for your test, please verify the location of your test as we have several offices where stress echocardiograms are performed. Next, please eat or drink nothing after midnight the night before your test. Finally, be sure to wear athletic type shoes and clothing so that you can exercise comfortably for your test. On the day of your stress test, please arrive 15 minutes early and check in at the front desk. One of our staff will come to the lobby and bring you back for your stress echocardiogram. The first element of your stress echocardiogram will be to obtain ultrasound images of your heart before you exercise. In order to obtain these images, you will be asked to remove your clothing from your waist up and given one of our very stylish gowns to wear while you're exercising. The images that are taken of your heart before you exercise will show us your overall heart muscle strength and tell us if you have had any prior heart muscle damage. For some patients, the ultrasound images are hard to obtain and we will ask to put in an IV to give you a medication called Definity so that we can see your heart more clearly during your stress test. The second element of your stress test will be to walk on the treadmill. You will start out with a very slow speed without any incline. Every three minutes or so, the treadmill will increase in speed and incline. Most people walk on the treadmill between six and 10 minutes. Typically, it's a brisk walk at the time you finish exercising, but it depends how long you're able to stay on the treadmill. Sometimes if you exercise for long enough, you may be at a slow run. While you're walking on the treadmill, we will monitor your blood pressure, your heart rate, and your heart rhythm, as well as your EKG. For the third element of your stress test, after you walk as far as you can on the treadmill, we will stop the treadmill and quickly have you lie down for another set of ultrasound pictures of your heart. The ultrasound pictures that we take after you exercise will allow us to visualize your heart's response to exercise. Your heart should beat more strongly, get a little bit smaller, and most importantly, all areas of the heart should function together. If we see areas of the heart that aren't functioning after you exercise, we know that there may be blockages going to those parts of the heart. These images will tell us if you have significant blockages in the blood vessels around your heart and if you're at risk for a heart attack. Most of the time, you'll be given the results of your stress echocardiogram at the time of your test. Sometimes additional testing will be required. It depends on the results. Remember, you can always review your results on my PSW portal. Thank you for trusting Baylor Scott & White Legacy Heart Center with your cardiovascular care. Good luck on your stress test.